Hey guys, this is Eric back with another Houdini tutorial. I think you're going to like this. I'm going to show you the basics of this effect and I'm going to show you what I can do with it. Well, let me show you what you can do with it with a little bit of tweaking. I'm not going to go in this in depth, but I'm going to show you the basics so you can do this on your own. So you can see I have this little movie here. And when I play it, it scatters and it comes right into my name. Like so. And it says emix 77 or it can come out this way and explode. You know, and if we play it, that's what we got. Not too bad if you ask me, and I'm going to show you how to accomplish this effect using simple geometry, but you can substitute your name for the simple geometry. So let's get started. Let's go back to Houdini and let's control click our sphere and bring in a sphere. Let's double click our sphere object and go down to the geometry level and let's work with our polygon mesh. Okay, let's go back up to object level. Now we have our sphere. Let's go to our generate particles and hit the source from. It's going to ask for the geometry we want to source our particles from. We're going to pick our sphere and hit return. Okay, and that's going to source our particles from within our geometry as you can see right there. Okay, so let's go back up to object level here. Double click down in to our sphere and we'll have a pop net now. So let's go to our pop net and let's make our pre-roll 24. Okay. Now let's go down into our pop net and we're going to, under emissions type, we're going to make it surfaces random. And then we're going to go to birth and we're going to make the constant birth rate 500. Okay. Now let's go back up to object level and see what we got here. We have our particle emitter and we have our sphere object. So let's double click into our particle emitter. And now as you can see we have this this merge object and a pop net. Let's select them all, command C and command V and copy and paste it. Okay, now let's select this pop net and go into it. Under attributes we're going to select under initial velocity use inherited velocity. Okay. And then when we do that, you can see zoop, it zips right down there. So now let's go back up to our object level here. We can see we have both of our objects still. Let's double click down to our geometry level. Now we're going to add a node. Let's tab in a merge. Now let's tab in a blend. B-L-E-N-D. Now we're going to connect this shape. And we're going to connect this pop net into our blend shape. Now you can see we have some options here under our blend shape. We're going to blend zero. We're going to add a blend. And when we do that, let's display this, we give this slider here. And when we work this slider, you can see this is the properties we want to animate. And when we do that, now you can substitute this sphere for your name like I did or anything else. So I'm going to hold the alternate key and click blend one let's make it reverse, let's do it like this now we'll set it like this on frame 1, we'll hit the alternate key and click blend 1 now we'll go down to frame 100 and we'll scoot this lever all the way up now we've animated that, now when we go from frame 1 to frame 100 that comes in, now we can go back up to object level turn the visibility of our sphere off and now as you can see here if we do a quick screen render you can see we have our little metaballs there and our little hot spheres there, our particles. And when you come down here and do a quick render, you can see they're spread out. Okay? So that's that. That's basically how you do it. That's how you do the text that I showed you at the beginning of the video, only I substituted the sphere. You can you can insert anything you want, and this is a pretty cool little effect. I hope you've learned something from this and you can apply this to many, 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 many different things. It's wonderful, wonderful. Again, let me show you what we've ended up with here. What you can do with it. And there you go. Hey guys, I shut the video off and forgot to show you the finished result. I showed you the finished result of my name, but I didn't show you the finished result of this uh, sphere we done. So let me you should bring this up real quick and let me uh, play this 
I'll bring it up here to the middle. And there we go. There's our finished product. As you can see, it slowly comes together into our sphere. And I put that little grid underneath it so you could see the shadows and stuff. Uh, now, you know. And of course, we didn't add any textures or materials to this. This is just a basic render to show you how the effect works. So once again, I hope you learned something, and uh, we'll see you next time.